Which one would you pick? Answers in the comments. Give the video a like if you are excited to see me drive this next week. The equipment is starting to arrive, ready for this to be flattened. Now hopefully you can see this is a much greener paddock in here. Good morning guys! How do we know it is a good morning? That is how we know it's a good morning. Mowers on, mowing to do, love it. Just come down to one of our hay meadows. So uh, as the name suggests, we are going to make hay in here. And there's also two more fields that way. We've also got some uh, silage bales to make on the farm platform. We've got two fields to cut there as well. So we've got an afternoon and evening mowing ahead, which is awesome. Just have to get out and open the gate to this field here. We come around here to the mower. Put that little clip on that spring. That is a very essential part of uh, setting the mower up. We've got two fields down there to do. Got this one ahead of us. We've got the tractor. We've got the drone. We've got a Josh. Hopefully that's what we need. Just hopping out a minute. I've got something stuck on the outside of the back mower. It's not doing any harm, but it's just winding me up. There, look. Oh, that rubbish. You just see that at the corner of my eye in the mirror. You can see once it's cut, it looks a lot greener on the floor. If we have a look here, we got some lovely leafy stuff. There is heaps and heaps of this, a clover. Um, all sorts of wildflowers. So these river meadows, as we call them, are in a scheme whereby we can't cut them until the 15th of July. Um, and such as everyone else around the country, since the 15th of July, it has done nothing but rain. So this is the first opportunity we get to uh, cut them. See here, look, look at all this. Is this, is that plantain? Not actually that clued up on the grasses. Clovers, grasses, there is some docks in here, but we don't do anything in terms of dock management. There's some cow parsley. There's no fertilizer goes down here other than a little bit of muck from the midden and whatever the cows leave behind when they graze it. So they graze it after, uh, after mowing. We'll put a bit of muck on, let it come back, put the cows on to graze it for a while. This is the problem we're gonna have today is all the grill's blocking up the grass seed, but there's not a lot we can do about it. We are only right beside the yard, so if we need to go back and blow out the radiators, whatever, we can. It's got this little thin piece here. I didn't do much of a headland, only went around twice. Um, There's really long runs that way, so I'll just scatter that off. We'll be into the next field. Right, one of those annoying times when I only need to go through there, but can't do it with all these wings folded down. The track is getting warm. Good mob look. Big one. How is that then? Absolutely pickled with bugs. Part of what they do down here up until the 15th of July is a beetle survey, so you would expect there to be some beetles down here. Pretty sure we can fit through there. I'll do that one. Now you head back and have some lunch. I'll blow all this off so we don't take any unwanted like dock seeds anywhere. And uh, we'll do the two silage fields. Steady. That branch is quite annoying. Look at that, no more branch. Right, back to edging our way through a gap. Lovely job. Another field done. I'm gonna shut my door because it keeps filling up with beetles. In there. Field's a lot greener. See that, look. It hasn't really gone to seed. There's a little bit that it has. This will make some very nice hay. We are making a lot of hay this year. Um, it's just the season for it, I suppose. We'll probably do with a bit of a blade check. So we've got some pit silage to do next week. I might well change the blades because they are due to be done. Um, we'll sort of see how they're doing. You can just feel in the tractor as it's going along, getting tougher. Anyone that's done mowing will know what I mean. You just feel the tractor sort of digging in to bite a bit harder. Um, doesn't help that the grass is a bit damp. Um, some nice new shiny blades would we'll soon sort that out. Now hopefully you can see this is a much greener paddock in here. This is what we're cutting for silage. Much younger grass, some of it's gone to seed. But um, this will make some really, really nice baled silage. Nearly finished cutting this paddock, I've got one swipe left 
and a piece of short work. Then we'll be on to the next one. Just grab that line, lower down. Beautiful. It's so humid. This is permanent pasture, this is. So this grass has been whatever it is for however long. Um, this is sort of like the standard for the farm platform, so what a lot of the grassland around our area would be. It's permanent pasture grasses. We're now going to go and cut a field which is uh, improved pasture, so it's got a lot of clover legumes in it, um, which is one of the farm platforms that's set up here in 2011, uh, along with the permanent pasture. And then at the time there was high sugar grasses, that is now our arable ground. For those of you that are thinking, what the hell is he harping on about farm platform? We have three farmlets within the farm here, all of which are 50 acres in size. One of which is permanent pasture, one of which is improved um, pasture, being the clover and legume mix. And then the third is now on arable rotation, but was high sugar. And basically we just compare the, the three systems. Um, there's a lot more to it than that. It's, it's not just we compare the three systems. There's, there is masses to do with it. Um, if you want to know any more about it, um, just look up Rothamsted Research Farm Platform online and it will tell you everything you need to know. I've gained a friend. Just here, there's a moth. I know nothing about moth. My dad would be well excited about that. Just quite happy there, just hanging out. Anyway, just made a cut down the middle of this field. We might try and get the drone up in the air. Not so much drone footage as normal, I'm afraid. John come over to sit with me for a bit, which I'm quite glad he did, because we were discussing our plans for tomorrow, getting this all bailed. Right, just gotta do some paperwork. So I've got to go and cut uh, another one of those grass meadows that's in the environment scheme, um, quickly, before 
then taking these mowers over to the other farm because we're going to be cutting there either at the weekend or early next week, bringing the rake back tonight. So that's ready for here in the morning because, um, like I said, it's effectively me and uh, me and John, and I think a bit of the grice tomorrow. Right, phone just buzz. Ah, Crawford. You reckon we get away with calling this silage? There's grass there. I mean, that's mainly is that bracken or ferns. Not sure. This is what Viking uh, intended these mowers to be used for when they designed them. It's doing it. Right, we're going to pull out onto this very busy, very fast piece of road. I mean, look how quickly cars can pass. And I got about 15 feet in front of me before I can see around the outside of the trees, which is not helpful. So what I can do is see left. So I try and make sure there's nothing coming from the left. So after that MX-5, we were okay. So then I just creep out and if anything is coming from the right, at least it's got time to go somewhere else other than into the side of my mower. Right, now I'm in the road, I might as well just keep going. Yeah, that was a slow on overtake. Making the truck not so slow. Nothing coming, let's go. Nice when they say thank you. Good man. Four point one meters. Sure, we're less. Yeah, we're less. Crack on, boys. Person's house sticks out onto the road. Sports fans, Get off the road whilst we open the gates. <laughs> right, that is the rear and the front mower now off the back of the tractor. So I'm going to pick up the rake whilst I'm over here at the other farm. We've also got Big Bertha here. Pow, look at her. Give the video a like if you are excited to see me drive this next week. I've driven it before, it's never on my own. So uh, yeah, next week, pit silage, I'm in that one. Could be a disaster. I'm tactfully leaving a set of balls on this one, because in the morning, John will come to get the wrapper, which is here somewhere. And I don't know whether it's got balls on or not, and the best is to leave some here in case he needs them. Right, we're ready to go home. Got the rake on. A couple of things about the rake. One is that it's got a steering axle, which is connected by this uh, long rod here. So when the headstock turns, when I turn, the rake axle turns as well. So you've got to be wary of that on the road, because when you want to turn right, the first thing the rake will do is turn left. Also, I always leave the power shaft in neutral. I'll put that flap down just so that if we catch any branches, because it's quite tall, they'll spin rather than grabbing and tearing. Yeah, that is ready to go home. We'll be using that one tomorrow morning. Things are happening at the shed. The equipment is starting to arrive, ready for this to be flattened. Um, I did take down as much of this water pipe as I could without these lifters being here, but it is all pinned to the ceiling, so can't get any more of that down. Here yeah, we've got two cherry pickers and a telehandler arrived. They're gonna dismantle this nicely because they want to take that away so that's why there's so much equipment here and before you know it there'll be a very different view behind me oh this is changing as well all that wood's going having metal railings all the way along there'll be a handling area out there the concrete's expanding that way big changes anyway let's get this outfit home i am home i'm in the yard and i'm ready to go in for my tea there's a dog running around somewhere and where he's gone anyway how about this for a lineup which one would you pick Answers in the comments. Do you go with the classic or with the modern day? Whoa, that is some tractor. As is that. Oh, there he is. Yep. Anyway, guys, we are going to head home for the night, me and Gus. We'll be back in the morning. 
to do some raking and some baling. You'll see that in another video very soon. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, it really does help me out. See you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio. P.S. Buy some merch. Link in the description.